Well, hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I'm gonna try something a little different today. Um, as these pictures flash through, these are the progressions of when I started kiting. Most of these are at Burwood Beach. You can stop the frame, look at them later, but um, it gets to the Barrack School, and um, that's the milestone that's today. This is today. This is, this is me taking the bait from my cohorts. They said, buddy, why don't you test it out and see how the wind is? Well, the wind was uh, good yesterday, but it wasn't great. So it felt good, and I think what I was misled at, not that my guys gave me any bad advice, they just, I'm the lightest one, and you know, they're heavier than me. So I, I bit, I took the bait, and I actually went out. And um, you can see it's really sunny, and the wind is blowing, but it was a blowing at about a 13 or a 14, consistent, nice wind. But not enough for, <laughs> not enough to uh, really stay up wind. As the video progresses, I feel it. I sense it. I actually, before I even get my butt in the water, I start realizing that I'm maybe these guys have already set me up. But I can't stop. I'm, my kite's inflated. The board is ready. The lines are clear. You see, I've got you know the kite. I'm walking out to the right. And um, this is where I should have been able to come back to, is on the right side of this little small beach, this little peninsula, where it's really the only safe place to land there. But um, I just bite the bullet and I say, you know, the hell with it. Uh, I did good yesterday. I'm going to try it again today. And um, I kind of knew about from the first two punts that uh, I was underpowered. But I, wouldn't, I, I, I was content, there me, I'm starting the GPS watch right there. That's the green start button on the photo that you'll see at the end of this video. So stay tuned to the very end and you'll see um, how far downwind I ended up actually going. Now I'm having to pump the hell out of this kite. And it's, it's already got me thinking, you know, I, <laughs> I don't, I'm, at this point I'm believing I, I, I don't have enough wind. So I'm reaching for the uh, trim line and I'm gonna let that sucker all the way out, which is in turn allowing me to have more power. I'm new at this. So I, I, I pop in, stand right back up, but I'm still having to pump. I'm full power, I'm on my second knots on the, uh, leading edges, trail edges. My terminology, you know if I say second knot, you kiters know what I'm talking about. But um, there I am, I'm pumping away, and uh, I barely got any speed up there. And I'm really doubting everything about this whole afternoon now. So I actually turned back into the uh, left, and it feels good. I mean, I've actually, were able to put put up some speed, I'm actually able to edge. And in my mind right here, I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna see them at the beach. And when I get to really pay attention to what I'm doing and where I'm at, I'm already downwind 100 yards. And I'm at this point, I've got to go out to sea. I got to go to the right and I gotta go hard because I'm already 100 yards downwind from that first getting up and it is going out to the right so now i'm freaked out i'm just like oh man this is not going to end well but i relax and i just i see i'm you see me uh, edging i'm edging really good here i got good speed up i mean i, I i've already reached the gear that said hell no i ain't letting this beat me today i'm going to get back to where i started so I really, I give it the good old effort. And I'm really, you know, edging as hard as I, I'm leaning way back. I, I've got, you see the spray coming off that board? I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. I'm pumping. But in reality, now I cut and I, I turn and I, I'm actually going back to the left. And now I see I haven't made any 
progress going upwind. So I really bite in now, and I'm kind of like done got pissed off. And I'm giving it power, and I'm edging, and I'm not seeing what I normally see at Burwood Beach. I see myself progressing up the beach, you know, upwind. Here, I'm looking dead at the end of this beach at, at the barrack scoop. And um, now you can see these houses and this fence, tall fence, and these trees. That's the end of the beach. I'm already over 100 yards from where I left off. And that effort gave me nothing. So I say, fuck, oh, excuse my language. I said, I'm going back out and I'm gonna actually go out to sea. I'm actually gonna go further out because at uh, Burwood Beach, when I go further out and I get into the really deep blue water, I'm able to go upwind. So I'm giving it the gun ho here. I'm just like full blast, you know, just blowing out there. Now the difference with uh, Burwood Beach and Barracks School beach is that there's no big waves. This is relatively calm still water with really good wind at 14, but 14 is not enough for me to edge. But you don't know. You, you go and you learn. You know, you try and at, at this point, see I'm way out. I'm way out to sea now. I'm into the blue water, but I'm not cutting up wind. It's an angle. At the end of the video, you'll see a GPS picture and you'll see the angle. And if you back up to the beginning of the video, you'll see Burwood Beach and you'll see that angle. There is a difference. I have got to master this spot. But it looks like to really kite um, the Barrett School Beach right there in Falmouth, Jamaica, I've got to have 16, 17, 19, 20 mile an hour winds and gust, you know, up to 28 to 30. But I'm way out to sea right now. Now normally on a, on a deal like this at Burwood Beach, when I go back in, I know, I'm, when I go back to the left, I know I'm going to get to where I started. In other words, I'm going to cut all the way back up to wind, uh, upwind, even if it's 100 yards, 150 yards, 200 yards. Now look at me. Look at my feet. I've got the edge on. I'm flying. I'm booking. See, I let one arm go. That arm is hanging back behind me. I'm leaning. I know now I've got confidence. I know I'm going to do this in front of all my cohorts. I'm going to show them that there's enough wind. <laughs> yeah, there's enough wind to, to you, you'll see. All of this effort, and I'm still a hundred yards downwind. Did not cut up 25 yards, 50 yards. No, I come back in at the place where the beach ends and these, these uh, wall house and um, trees are. I see it now and it's just like, what the hell do I gotta do to get up wind? So obviously there's not enough wind. So what I do is I make my mind up, I'm coming in hard, I'm coming in fast and I'm gonna get safely to the beach and I'm going to have to walk my white ass up that beach with the walk of shame knowing that 14 mile an hour winds is not enough at Barrett School. It doesn't mean you can't do it, it just means that I maybe I'm not experienced enough. Look, I've only just learned the kite board. Well there I am, there's the uh, builders over to the right of me on the right side of the screen. I'm in a safe zone, so I drop the board and I actually stand up and I, I put the kite at, you know, park it at about 3 o'clock. 
There's no tension on it or nothing, so I could actually walk back up the beach. Uh, you can't hardly do that at, at uh, Burwood Beach, and you, but uh, here's a picture of where we're at. The green dot's where I started, and the red dot is where I stopped. That's about 100 yards. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Subscribe. Like this video if you like it. If you don't, leave a, leave a nasty comment.